What is up, you guys? And of course, welcome back to an episode of <laughs> What's Really Better. This week, we're not going to talk about Ramada, though. I'm just going to say a straight off the bat, I got a few hints from the previous episode that maybe Rampadas are worthwhile as we compare it against the likes of Agron and Tarantrum. And while I do believe Tarantrum is vastly superior to Agron and Rampadas, I definitely say that Agron is really comparable to Rampadas, if anything. What I'm trying to say here is that Rampadas and Agron do share a certain way of attacking that's going to be the head smash combination that this Pokemon do represents so well. So it basically becomes of which one of the best of these two are the best head smasher to some extent. But they are definitely compared to get one another. And it's up to me as always to go over there, of course, or I can theme in stats and move pool and ability to find out which one of these two that really are better. Now, with that said, I do want to say that I had an episode for Agron versus Steelix, but I don't believe, since we had the Mega Forms, that they are too comparable against one another in their base state. And that's a lot to do with that. Regular Agron isn't nearly as good as regular Steelix in their base form. So, yeah, shots fired, folks. But how does St Agron stand overall? Well, the reason we're comparing him first is because he's introduced first. That's simple as that. Steel and Rock combination, base combination here, and that's that's a bad combination, for sure. Steel and Rock really isn't all that good. Well, I would say Rock, Soul Rock is far worse than Steel. Um, steel and Rock really aren't helping each other all that much. While you do parry two things, I do believe Rock parry fire weaknesses for Steel, and Steel parry the grass weaknesses for Rock. We still have to deal with a lot of things here. For steel type, you actually get more resistances if you aren't combined with something, and this is definitely what stands out the most. With immunity in poison, we do resist strongly the lines of normal and flying. With resistance to bug, dragon, fairy, steel, I was going to say, but we're not going to have steel, we have ice, psychic, and rock. But we do have like weaknesses to water, fighting, and ground. And while there are only three weaknesses, two of them are four times effective. That's a very tough thing to deal with. Base HP here, of course, 70, which is fair. 110 in its attack, which is really good. 180 in its defense, yeah, that's... There really aren't that many Pokemon that have that high defensive stat. And while defensively, Agro looks great, um, having a 4 times weakness to Earthquake and you know, close combat almost guarantee a KO anyway, so that defensive stat to that aspect is useless. But it does have a system that makes sense to make. If you can't hit it super effectively, you're very unlikely to take it out, unless in the special side, that is. Because especially, yeah, we're not going to succeed or anything. 16 in special attack and special defense. Yeah, mm, that's not great, isn't it? And the speed here, very low, 50. Uh, that, that, that's not going to scare anyone. While it does outspeed very defensive Pokemon, you're still yourself extremely defensive Pokemon. And probably in run of the mill the speed would come to that uh, but overall we do have an ability here that does help out heavy metal is not one of them heavy metal while does it make double the, double the weight just mean the low kick definitely will take three or four aggers out but the reason you want to use that is to boost your heavy slam attack but you're not going to use that you're not what you will use though is either sturdy or rockhead sturdy of course make sure that if you're at full hp if you're hit down, well, basically, you can't be one in KO, is what I'm trying to say. It's a decent ability and definitely works off with a very bad defensive combination, such as Agron, but you're always going to use Rockhead. Reason for that is because it does mean that you get no recall for moves that does deal recall towards you. And we're going to definitely talk about Double Edge and Head Smash, but Head Smash is your bread and butter for Agron, and it's, it works really well here. When it comes to move pool on Agron, it has a really wide move pool. It definitely, this is a Pokemon that I think, had it not been so slow, it could have been an extremely good Sea Crystal Pokemon. We have Iron Head with Rock Slide, Heavy Slam, Metal Burst, which is very usable for Agron. It does, Metal Burst basically works like um, a combination of Counter and Mirror Coat, but you, instead of dealing double damage back, you do 50% extra damage. So instead of, if you take 100, you do 150 back, and it's not a move that forces to go last, so if you're speedier than your opponent, the Metal Burst will fail. So keep that in mind. Uh, was it Solar Beam, which is great? It's a niche move, but it's cool to have that. I, I always like Pokemon with Solar Beams. They are A-plus Pokemon in my book. Uh, Atonomize, we also have Rock Polish to complement that, but that 
can double your speed and one of ten in attack isn't necessarily all that bad. So Rockhead spamming is a thing and I definitely believe a Total Mice can help out with that. We also have Taunt, no Hilly Filler moves in Ice Beam, Blizzard, Thunder, uh, we have Earthquake, Brick Break, Fire Blast and Flame Front, which is fair. Rock Tomb and Air Lace. Air Lace works for him. Actually, I've seen a few times people in the league use Air Lace only to take out Heracross. I don't think that's fair. And we have Shadow Claw, Focus Blast, Surf, Stone Edge, which you never use. Probably if you have the sturdy set, very unlikely though. Uh, Thunder Wave, Bulldoze, Flash Cannon, Dark Pulse, Iron Head again for some reason, Low Kick, uh, the Elemental Punches in Ice Beam, Thunder Punch, and um, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, yeah, kind of, I'm unstumbling here, aren't I? But I've actually seen sets that used Sugar Berry and Ice Punch to take out Gliscors and Landris. It's niche, alright, but it's definitely cool to see. Uh, Manor Rise, Block, Icy Wind, Aqua Tail, Whirlpool, Endure, Avalanche, Counter, Seismotoss, and Superpower. Overall though, uh, Agra's primary set, and I'm definitely going to cover that already. We have two sets that are very workable, possibly three. Uh, the first one being the defensive set. This usually have a Heavy Slam or um, Iron Head. Uh, no reason to run any likes of Iron Tail, for example. And then you have Earthquake or Stone Edge together with uh, possibly head smash if you go for rock head over sturdy but then you have toxic and stealth rocks and that that set is something that works really all right i think that set has a lot of um, options to kind of parry in um we also have the sturdy i forgot to mention the curse reversal and stuff like that it does get that it gets clear head smash too that's the only move you're going to use in this pokemon anyway uh, and that's what I can try to get that, is the standard set of being scarfed or banded. They work the same, it's just what you want to use it for. Scarf set, in my honest opinion, is of course the better one, being able to outspeed base 98 base Pokemon, which doesn't cover that many. I think that's Sigilith, if you want to be uh, more specific. That's being the likes of Sato, for example, which could be very good. Uh, and Curem. God, I mentioned Curem. But overall, that set is basically Head Smash, Earthquake, then Filler in Aqua Tail or Superpower. It could even carry Low Kick, which I think is kind of fine. It works for Snorlax and other Steelix and other Aggrons, and I think that's a fair option. But overall, Aggron is very good at two roles. It can be very defensive or it can be extremely offensive. The middle ground is something that's just quite alright, but... It's definitely benefiting heavy for doing just something, but it can only do a specific thing. And uh, Agron stands out there, it really does. Well, I do believe the speed tier itself is holding the Pokemon down. It definitely have a move pool to compensate for that. And it can deal with a lot of matchup fairly all right. It's just, it's very likely to be at speed and it's very likely to take a lot of damage if not being KO'd himself before even retaliating. But overall, Agron should definitely be a Pokemon that nobody should sleep on because it's a Pokemon that does a lot of damage, have a very, very high stab move in Head Smash. 150 base stab plus stab combination means 225 base power. That means that a that um, even if it is resisted, it still does more than, let's say, uh, an Earthquake that does neutral damage. That's that's how bad it is. That's not a thing you want to switch in on. And, well, Agron represents the best of that. It's a very underrated Pokemon. But it's whether or not that underrated mark is something to be even be compared for when we're talking about the likes of Rapados. So a big thing here before going into this is the defensive typing. As I said before, rock and steel is one of the worst combinations in the game. Rock is probably one of the worst, if not the worst combination, or no, the soul typing. It's not even a combination, it's it's just rock. What that means is you actually resist fire, flying, normal, and poison, which is fair, but you have a lot of weaknesses to watch out for, like too many. Fighting, grass, ground, steel, and water, none of them really are that good. Uh, they're really common, do really a lot of damage towards you, and um, usually have high stab power. So, yeah, not a good thing to have. What it does help out, though, is that Rampalos really has a really high HP at 97. Yeah, mm, that's, that's scary. And then we have that that insane stat that people rarely talk about, 165 attack. Like, if we hyped out the 180 on the Agron's defense, we do have to hype out that 165 attack too. Like, I think it's... What is that? It's tying with Deoxys attack and then Mega Heracross probably stronger, but that's about it. Like, it's... This is this is a this is the attack stat that we're gonna talk about. That nothing else here is even 
worth mentioning because the other stats here are tremendously awful. 16 defense, yeah, it's not going to help. 65 is protect, so it's it's fine, I guess, but it's definitely not usable. It shouldn't be used when you have 165, an attack that is. Uh, special defense of 50, and then with speed to 58. So it's a glass cannon, a slow glass cannon. It's not, not the best combo to be at, I guess. It's a very rare sight for obvious reasons. And the defensive stats, while low, it does compensate that the defensive stat is really high on this Pokemon. But I think the HP stat is high for a different reason. And that is, as we talked before, the head smash. Because we don't have an ability here in Rockhead. We do have, instead of an ability of Mole Breaker and Shear Force. Usually you see Shear Force in this Pokemon. And we're going to talk about that a little more. But Mole Breaker is still a viable option. It does negate abilities such as defensive or passive one. Uh, for example, it does negate Solid Rock, it does negate Filter, and it negates Levitate. This means that, well, clearly Rampalos is an offensive threat against any defensive Pokemon that want to try to, well, I would say stall it out, because that will never be an impossibility. Uh, Share Force, however, like I said, it's the better option, and it's just because it boosts secondary, moves with secondary effects by 30%, and also negates Life Orb damage in that aspect. What that means like, is that, well, this Pokemon gets a lot of secondary effect move, and it can use that quite right. Now, we're going to talk about the moves itself. We have a Send Headbutt, we have Screech, which is awesome. Uh, Head Smash, which is your bread and butter, and like I said, the reason you probably have a high HP stat. And then with Pursuit, Ice Beam, Thunder, the reason I mentioned them is because they're boosted by the Shear Force, making them viable to actually use. And of course, with Life Form, that 60% that boost is kind of scary. Uh, then we have Earthquake with Brick Break, Fire Blast, Rock Tomb, Facade, Focus Blast, Rock Polish. And this is a Pokemon that definitely benefit from using Rock Polish because it effectively means that it outspeeds Scar Pokemon at base 85. We, we're talking about the likes of Sork and stuff like that, and that can be extremely useful. And it, there are a lot of other things that comes into this Pokemon and survive it. If it is speedier, then you're going to have a problem. Uh, we have Stone Edge, which should never be used. Uh, we have also Sword Stance. Which is overkill, but it does get it. <laughs> Whirlwind, Crunch, Hammer Arm, which would definitely not be used. Curse, same thing there, never used that. Iron Tail, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, Earth Power, Super Power, Sinhead, but again, my mistake. Focus Punch, which could be good. Uh, the main reason for Focus Punch being named mentioned here is because Ron Paulus does force switches, and forcing in a Focus Punch is not necessarily the best thing to experience in the world. And then we have Stealth Rocks, which is an option. Stomping Tantrum, Natural Gift, Whirlpool, Power Punch, and Avalanche. Uh, overall, though, it's very clear what Rampodos does. It hits things for a lot of damage, and then it falls. And the thing is here, much like Agron, uh, the Scarf Set and Bandit Sets are very viable option. We don't have a defense for Rampodos set at all, and this is because Rampodos aren't good at being defensive. Its stat just doesn't allow that. Uh, however, the Bandit Set and Scarf sets are better than Aggron's variant of that, and has a lot to do with those extra, what, what is that? I think 45 base attack and 58 base speed. The Scarf set means you do outspeed 100 base, 110 Pokemon, and that's that's basically, where it's like Gengar and stuff like that, so that's a, even the Laddie Twins, and Pursuit, of course, even amplifies that, forces switches, Pursuit trap them, 165 base attack probably takes out a Pokemon if you're weak to it, so that's, it does work. Rampalos offensively is extremely scary. It just it cannot set up as efficiently as it should be. Um, I really want to mention the Rock Polish because this book will never use uh, Sword Stats. While fun at best, it's unnecessary. Uh, and of course, not being able to negate recall moves, but have an HP stat to pull that up. It does mean that you only can do so many head smashes, but those head smashes will hit for a lot more damage than Agron do. So while we do miss out on recall, we do at least get enough damage to very likely get a KO, which is something that Agron could very well miss out on. So Ron Parlas is a very, very underrated threat itself. It is whether which one of these two I deem better at what they do. And for me, this is a very straightforward matchup. Like, I can celebrate Ron Parlas what it does, 
I think it does offensively what it does really well. But like, as I said, it is too badly defensive to pull something up, and it has a worse defensive typing. If Agron has a bad defensive typing, Ron Potter has a worse defensive typing, that means that Agron at least have the option to play a more defensive game than Rampadas, and it has the stats to pull them up. And I would all days in the week prefer to use Agron for a defensive and offensive role over Rampadas because it isn't at, as tough to bring in. Rampadas can simply switch into something while Agron pulls that off. It has matchup, it does result defensively. Rampadas, even if it resists things, still takes a lot of damage. You don't have that issue with Agron, it's simply as that. But with that said, I really have to hand it to Rampadas. I think it's extreme threat. I really like it. I think Game Freak did something wrong here, though. I mean, let's face it, having a glass cannon slow... Come on, Game Freak, that's such a dick move to do. Agron, however, has been consistent for generations to generation, and it has showcased in a league concept that it actually goes for a very fair steel type due to reduction berries and that broad move pool. Rampadas have never had that option, nor will they ever get that, unless they resolve its speed issue. But as stated before, both of these Pokemon are slow and can set up speed. One is more likely than the other to pull that off, and it is because of the worst defensive type combinations in the game. Steel and Rock are so much better than a Soul Rock, and just iron overall more reliable as a whole due to its defensive stats capabilities. So with that said, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm not going to preview the next matchup because I have yet to decide which one of these Pokemon I'm going to choose. But you could expect Grump Pig, if anything. So with that said, thank you guys as always for watching. And I'll see you next week. Until then, take care. Bye.